Hey guys, just me checking in. I am still, obviously you can tell, I'm at the hotel. Um, I do feel a little better today. I, you can kind of tell, I mean, I slept, I finally did sleep, but it's so strange because I was so exhausted, but then my mind just wouldn't stop. Like I couldn't stop thinking about everything. So I finally did fall asleep at 11.30 and woke up at 7.30 and yeah, Cody was exhausted too. I mean, it's been, it's been a lot for both of us the past few days, but it felt so good to get some sleep for sure. Cody, what you doing? What you doing over there? I have to say, I, I love this. Somebody had gotten me this. I don't know if you remember a few days ago, this little collapsible bin. So I've used it in the hotel here to put my stuff in, like my keys, my medicine bag wipes um yeah that works that works out well though it really does um i also have i have so many things that you guys sent me just so you know they really do they just mean a lot to me i have my angel blanket now the rest of my blankets are in a um a storage bag in in the tiny house still so i haven't gotten them out but I have this for now, so, yeah, um, me and Cody both have our own bed, <laughs> this is Cody's, that's mine, anyway, I wanted to come on and say thank you to, I think it's Melissa, Melissa, I woke up this morning and there was, um, money on my Venmo. And it had said, you know, for the move slash hotel room, whatever you need. So I just wanted to tell you how much that meant to me because I used that, what you sent me, to stay another night here. So I do want to say thank you so much for that because that is, it's getting put to use. And I really appreciate that because... Like I said, I'm just kind of taking it day by day. So it's nice to know, you know, for today, what I'll be doing and, and so forth. So thank you so much. That meant a lot. Thank you. I also had this in the mail two days ago. And I don't know who it's from. I'll just show you the envelope. No return, no return address. It just shows it's from Connecticut. And I opened it and there was this paper. And there's absolutely nothing on it. Doesn't say who it's from, doesn't say a word on it. But I opened it and there was $100. So I wanna say whoever you are, if you're watching, thank you so much for that because that paid for my hotel the other night. So I just wanted you guys to know how much that has helped me. And I'm by no means coming on here asking anybody for money or anything. Unlike somebody who came, had the nerve to come on my channel a week ago and say I was a scammer. I was like, really? Hmm. Um, but I know, I'm just ignoring now. But I just want to say thank you so much. Because that, that meant a lot to me. So whoever you are, I mean you and, and the lady that Venmoed me that, I'm able to stay. And I can sleep and I'm comfortable. This hotel is clean. It is... Um, so yeah, I get to stay another night. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm looking up a few places. I've been on the Facebook sites uh, looking up, you know, maybe some land uh, property there. Well, like you can put your tiny house. I did find somebody had said that there was a tiny home community in, New in not Newport, oh my gosh, Greenville. And another one might be coming open in Parrotsville. So... I was thinking when I check these places out, if I ever find them, I will be recording that for you guys. So that's kind of a plus, you know, I don't have to worry about that, you know, being where I was. I can report what I want. I can help you guys, you know, maybe find a place to put your tiny home if you still get one. So you don't have to put it at, at ITH, you know, something, something good. Okay, so Cody's supposed to have the other bed and look, you can see he's taken over my bed over here. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, continuing on, Cody, 
Cody does very well in the hotel. Um, obviously, I never leave him here alone, but when they go by the housekeeping, <laughs> oh, we just had a big fiasco, but <laughs> he's okay now. Anyway, I just wanted to say, you know, somebody had contacted me <clears throat> saying that I think the lot I was on already is, I thought they said like 25000 they got for the lot, but that's not why they wanted me out of there, was it? I mean, like I said, out of all the people there, why pick me? Why? Like I said before, the truth is coming out. Like I said, when I went to court with my mom, Randy yelling at me to get out of there then. He wanted me out of there. I lived every day after that in fear that I didn't know if I was going to come home and not have a place to live then because of how he was just horrible. The true, true colors came out. Not just him, the others, the employees he brought with him. Which brings up a good point about those employees. The one that keeps coming on my YouTube, like last night I had to report, stop coming on my YouTube channel because I'm going to call you out. I don't know what employee you are, which ex-convict employee you are. This is what you guys do, don't you? You harass people. I've heard it from several people, several, throwing nails by their car, doing all sorts of things to people, maybe to get them out of there so they hate it there so much they leave, like me. I don't want to put up with that and have that happen. So stay off my channel. I will report you. I know you're scared and I know ITH is probably scared. I don't know. But stay off of my page. My people know me. They know my character and they stick up for me. So. It doesn't mean anything. Your little thing yesterday it made me laugh. It said something, what did it say? Oh, oh, you should see her on TikTok. She's so different. Yeah, I am because on my TikTok, I'm having fun and I'm laughing and I'm dancing and I'm having fun. That TikTok was my outlet and I that was so much fun there. So I don't know what he was really trying to prove on there, but go away. Nobody cares. Nobody believes you. We all know how you guys are. It's coming out. You ITH employees. So stop harassing me. Stop harassing me on my YouTube channel. Or I'm going to get you guys for slander. How about that? This is all stuff I've been raring to go and talk about. So you will be blocked. Deleted. Bye-bye. Okay, had to get that out. But I, I just wanted to say... Um... Thank you guys. All the texts I'm trying to go through and read, comments, uh, you guys being supportive, and I know, you, you guys know this is a really, it's a hard time. And I love living in that tiny house. And it was very upsetting. And all for nothing. But I just want you to know that you guys are keeping me going. And Cody, Cody. But yeah, your, your comments, your support, and I just love, it makes my heart so happy that you guys are seeing the truth about ITH as well. And somebody had said, you know what, Melissa, you're saving a lot of people heartache and losing money because they're not going there now and because they don't trust them. And I feel good about that, although I'm going through a lot and I, I, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. I wouldn't. But I guess if me going through this saves a ton of other people wasting their money, wasting their time, wasting their dreams on this, then I guess it's worth it in the end. I hope. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to say goodbye for now for me and Cody. Cody is doing fine. He is doing well. Um, I did have somebody ask something about my P.O. box or where they can send things now. If you do, I'm not, I'm just saying what somebody had told me. I do still have my P.O. box number because I'm still here. 
and I will be. My mom's going to have her post office box for at least, you know, I think another two weeks. So that is safe to do. And when the time comes that she doesn't have that, I will let you know where you could reach me. You know, if you want to write me. And I will let you know then because she's supposed to get her apartment on the 14th or 15th. Supposed to. We don't count on anything until it actually happens because so many things have just fell through. But I'm excited for her. And, you know, like I said, my sister, she's in a, a real tight spot too. And my mom is being as great as she is. She's trying to help both of us out, both her daughters. And my sister's going to go live in, in my mom's house. And I'm not, I'll be okay, you know. I'm happy they have a place. I, I kind of feel peace. I mean, whatever I do, I'll, I'll figure it out. Figure it out as I go, I guess. But I think I'll, I'll be okay with Cody. We'll get something figured out. <laughs> I just hope one day I could live in that tiny house again because I loved it. It's so, it was so homey. Anyway, thanks guys for your comments and words of encouragement and Thank you so much to Melissa who Venmoed me so I can stay in this hotel another night. It's cozy and I have cable. I haven't had this many channels in years. <laughs> so bye from me and Cody and we'll check in later. Bye guys.